Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Leaf Autographed Baseball Jersey Edition. Five box, random team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Really appreciate it. And thanks all the teams for, for existing. Appreciate that. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a one, four times for each list. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. John Sodaro down to Isaac after four. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. After four times, we've got the Tigers. Tiger uppercut down to the Cardinals. All right, John with the Tigers, Jeff with the Pirates, Victor with the Giants, Jeff with the Mets, Luke with the Angels, and Twins. I don't know if this, this person has any relation to Sean Corbett in the chat. Nancy with the Brew Crew, Jeff with the White Sox, Nancy with the Reds, Will with the Royals, Adam with the Marlins, Stephen K with the Phillies. Nancy, you got the Red Sox, Will with the Cubs, Eric Brand with the Rangers, Jeff with the A's, Nancy with the Yankees, Logan with the O's, Jeff with the Nats and Mariners. Uh, Freddie, you have the Astros. Jeff with the Indians, Jake Reams, you got my Dodgers. Chris Parent, last spot, Mojo Braves. Jeff with the Rockies, Luke with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Jeff with the Blue Jays and Rays. Jeff Goldberg with the Padres and Isaac with the Cardinals. So there you go. Let's alphabetize by team name right here. And while you are, remember, trade at your own risk. Not really a checklist in this sort of stuff. So trade at your own risk. While you're considering trades, that's the full case right there. I'm just going to take five jerseys right off the top. And that's how we're going to do it. One. save the uh, the other five down here for next time any trades no no trades trade window going once trade window going twice TWC, trade window closed. All right. Play a couple uh, couple rounds of, uh, a few rounds, quick rounds of Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you some clues. And then you try to guess who the player is. try to show you on that Nick cam over there. Let's try to hide a little bit. No? I'm going to turn off the Nick cam for now. Just for this break. All right, there we go. Vikings, what's going on, man? How are you? All right. Who am I? There is. I think should be on groupbreakchecklist.com. I can drop that for you after this break. All right, who am I? I am a uh, a former Major League Baseball player. Former. Former right fielder. I'm still alive. I'm 85 years old. I had a lifetime 297, 3,007 hits, 399 home runs, and uh, almost 1,600 runs batted in. Played for one team my entire career. 18 all-star appearances, 
a World Series champion in the late 60s, 10-time Gold Glover, Roberto Clemente Award in the early 70s, a one-time AL batting champion, and a first ballot Hall of Famer with 88.3% of the vote, inducted in 1980. Who am I? Not Ichiro. Ichiro is not 85 years old. Not Yaz. There you go. Sean's got it. It's Mr. Tiger, Al Kaline. There we go right here. There's the JSA right here. There's the Al Kaline right here. I think these are custom jerseys. Yeah, so you won't have the logos on them, but you got the, the colors for sure. There he is. Yeah, Eastwood, I, I, you called it before I even gave clues. I thought you were going to just guess that again. All right, Mr. Tiger going to Mr. John Sodaro. So that's break one right there. All right. You're welcome, John. These jerseys are always cool. Next jersey. Am I? All right. I'm also a former baseball player, shortstop, manager, and coach. I also played for one team my entire career. I'm currently 61 years old right now. Had a 285 lifetime batting average. 185 home runs, 2,365 runs batted in, and 1,003 RBIs. Managerial record, 187 to 302. Well, I guess not, not very successful as a manager. Played for one team my entire career, six-time All-Star, a World Series champion, and a World Series MVP. Four-time Gold Glove Award winner, three-time Silver Slugger, uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame by the Modern Era Committee in 2018, very recently, with 81.2% of the vote. There you go. And yes, Sean get, gets it again, Alan Trammell. I think advanced statistics definitely helped Alan Trammell's Hall of Fame case. Because if you look at his stats, he's got a pretty good wins above replacement kind of stat. His war is pretty good. There's Alan Trammell right there. There's his JSA sticker and card right here. And they're custom jerseys, so I'll just keep these in their packaging right there. So yeah, two Tigers in a row. So another one for John Sodaro. Box three. All right. Did we accidentally get Tiger's edition here? <laughs> yeah, if the next one's like Miguel Cabrera, then I'll be like, oh. Let's give some of the other guys a chance. All right. Good luck, everybody.
Okay. All right, who am I? Um, I'm another former MLB player, so not active, and a former manager. 65, uh, 63 years old, a righty, a lifetime 306 average. I have over 3,300 hits, 3,319 hits to be specific. 234 home runs, 13 over 1,300 runs batted in, 504 stolen bases. I guess I never really thought of him as a stolen base guy, but yeah, he stole some bases. And my managerial career managerial record, 305 and 343, a 47.1 winning percentage. Played for three teams my entire career and only managed for one team. Seven-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a World Series MVP, four-time Silver Slugger, I was a manager of the year, an AL manager of the year, and a, and a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2004 with 85.2% of the vote. Not Girardi, not Lasorda. Yeah, are you cheating, Sean Corbett, or are you just good at trivia? Paul Molitor, Sean gets it again, and it's Brewer's edition of uh, Paul Molitor. See Mahler names right here. There's his four, which I think his number four is retired by the Brewers. There's his autograph right in the middle of that four with the JSA sticker. Who's got the Brew Crew in this one? That will be Nancy. There you go, Nance. Yeah, Sean, it's no fun if you look them up. That's not the point. You're welcome, Nancy. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Yeah, Sam Strayer, I agree. Sean's cheating. The Astros. And the Red Sox now, apparently. I'll bet a lot of teams do it. <laughs> they're, just, they're just dumb enough to get caught, I guess. All right, next one. Now, Sean claims he's just an almanac of baseball knowledge. All right. Well, we'll have to test that when he, when he comes and visits. Aaron, what's going on, man? Pretty good. Pretty good so far. All right, who am I? I'm a former uh, professional baseball player and manager. I had a lifetime 225 batting average, career nine home runs, 58 runs batted in. Played for one team my entire career. And a, and a World Series champion with the one team that I that I think I played for. Oh no, I didn't get a World Series champion. How did I get a World Series champion with that year? But yeah, who am I? Lifetime 225, nine home runs, 58 runs batted in in my entire career, and a Hall of Famer. Oh, I see. Um, no, I'm okay. Also, my managerial record is 2,504 wins to 2,001 losses. That's a 55.6 winning percentage. I have two World Series champions as a coach, one, at, one as a base coach and the other as the manager. A four-time manager of the year. Managed for th uh, two teams my entire career, one team twice. Managed for this team 
And then I managed for the Blue Jays for a few years. And then I went back to this team is where I had my, my success. Not Sparky Anderson, not Lasorda, not Stangl, not Sparky. Hall of Famer in 2014, 100% of the vote in the expansion era committee. Yep, there you go. Jeremy and Smoove has it. It's Bobby Cox. And in Braves colors. You got the Braves red right there. There he is. Now, he has two World Series champions to his credit, you guys. And Braves. Let's see who the Braves go to. One was as a first base coach for the Yankees in 1977. All right, Braves. That's Chris Parent. There you go, Chris. Last spot mojo as well. One, two, three, four. Here's our final one right here. Good luck, everybody. And we've got the other half of this in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Go and get it. That was exactly my intention, Jeff Goldaber. All right, who am I? I'm another former baseball player, 74 years old. Played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. A four-time All-Star. A uh, MLB ERA leader. And part of, uh, I've got... A number retired by one team and part of that team's hall, another team's hall of fame. Got into the hall of fame in, uh, got into the baseball hall of fame in 1998 with 81.6% of the vote uh, on his fifth ballot. On his fifth ballot. Right hander, 324 career wins, 256 losses, a lifetime 326 ERA, 3,574 strikeouts. And some of you nowadays may know him as a broadcaster. I think he became a... Oh, wow, I didn't realize he was diagnosed with kidney cancer resulting in removal of his left kidney and part of his lung removed. He's still with us. He left TBS after 2006 and then fewer games in 2007. A color commentator for the Nationals until uh, on Masson until uh, 2009 but uh, had two years on, on his Nationals contract but when he was a Bra when, the, when Atlanta Braves radio job opened up he negotiated a release to go back to the Braves where he had many ties I remember him as more of a Braves broadcaster as well as a Dodger yep Flip Coins got it and Paul Hutchins got it first actually Don Sutton and his Dodgers blue played with the Dodgers from 66 to 1980, then with the Astros for a couple of years, Brewers for a couple of years, A's, Angels for a couple of years, and then back to the Dodgers in 88 before he hung them up. But a long career for him. I met Don Sutton once after a Dodger game when I was a wee lad. You can tell by his curly hair. You can... Spot him. It was like a Dodgers Braves game. He was doing TV or radio for the Braves, and I saw him. All right, so uh, there you go. Don Sutton, who's got my Dodgers in this break. Jake Reams. There you go, Jake. Jake with my Dodgers. Thanks very much for getting in, Jake, and thanks, everyone. Second half in the store. Check it out on jazpiececasebreaks.com. We'll play more of America's favorite game, Who Am I? We'll see you next time. Bye bye.